So the next two terminologies that I'll be looking at in um, description of terminologies in anatomy is what distal and proximal. All right. So when they say something is distal or when they say something is proximal in anatomy, what do they mean? There's some people might be here to know the differences between prox, distal or proximal. Okay. So let me just use a line to define this. Let me say this is a line. This is you at this point. Okay. So when something is closer to you, you see that the thing is proximal to you. When something is far away from you, you see that the thing is what? Distal. Distance. Proximal. Proximi proximity. Okay. Approximate. Bring it to the nearest decimal. That's what we doing in, in, in maths. So that's where they actually found all these what, terminologies, right? So let's talk about them either way. So using the human body now, something that is closer to you is actually proximal. Something that is far away from you is actually what distal, all right? So let's define. Distal simply means something that is positioned nearer to the center of the body or the point of attachment, closer to you. Okay, example is what? The shoulder is proximal to the elbow, meaning it is closer to the main body than the elbow. The shoulder is closer to you than this elbow joint. I don't know if you understand. Now let's look at this style. This style simply means something that is positioned far away from the center of the body. When it says center of the body, is this midline, mid, this mid sagittal line. Okay. So anything that is close to the mid sagittal line is what proximal. Anything away from the sagittal line is what distal, right? So it is what this distal is what further away from the center of the body or the point of attachment. Example is what the hand is distal to the elbow. Okay, meaning the hand is far away from the body than the elbow. The hand here, okay, is more far away from the body than the elbow joint. You get it. All right. So um, for the conclusions that what the terms that's we really talking about distal or proximal. There are terms that you use commonly to what, describe positions of limbs, but it can also apply to other parts of the body too. Okay, so that's it for what distal and proximal in anatomy.